Welcome to Happy Hour. This week, I'm going to answer some questions from you that I received via electronic mail from the intertubes. Wow, do you have a question for me? The future is now. You can write me at cocktailhotline at gmail.com. This email reads as follows. <clears throat> Dear Spencer, I often see cocktails that use egg whites in their recipes, and I've always been a little skeptical of them, but also curious. What is the purpose of the egg white? And could you recommend an entry level egg white drink I could try to make at home? Thanks, Dave Munster from Ellsworth, Maine. Well, Dave, you asked the right guy about this. I too sh uh, shared skepticism about egg white drinks. Why? Aren't you supposed to cook eggs? Doesn't the CDC say don't eat cookie dough batter with raw eggs in it? Health concerns, food safety was there also like, why are we dropping a slimy egg white into a drink? Is that good or gross? Maybe like it sounds. Maybe I'm basic, maybe not. But like anything I don't understand, rather than cowering in fear and hiding from it and creating callous opinions about it, I try to walk towards it and learn about it so that I can know what the heck's going on. So this is true with egg whites and I had some friends who were kind enough to show me how to make egg white drinks several years ago. And I get it and the purpose of egg whites is as follows. If you shake an egg white into a drink, it's gonna make it super silky and super creamy. So it's more of like a texture thing than a taste. I mean, you're also getting some protein, so that's good. In case you're trying to get all jacked up, you know, it might help out. Uh, so yeah, that's really the long and the short of it. It doesn't necessarily taste eggy. And can I show you how to make a simple egg white cocktail at home? Absolutely. I'm gonna show you how to make, uh, uh, it's a bourbon sour with an egg white in it. So we'll call it an eggy bourbon boo-boo. Eggy boo-boo. Eggy bourbon, bourbon drink with egg. It's gonna be a eggy egg white, egg, bourbon egg white, bourbon sour with egg white. Okie dokie. In our shaker, no ice. Important, no ice, because we're gonna do what's called a dry shake. Um, because if you put ice and the egg in and you shake it, it becomes, that's a drink, you don't wanna be part of that. That's when it gets all like coagulated weird and all this business. So what we wanna do is get the egg white into the shaker with the other ingredients and, uh, and then we'll shake it, I'll, we'll walk you through it and then we're gonna chill it but this is the order of operations. I recommend starting with the egg because if you screw up, uh, you don't wanna waste the bourbon and the other ingredients that you put in the shaker, right? So start with an egg and you get a little crack-a-poo. Boop, boop. Get the thumbs in there. Okay. Gently set, oh, this is not going well. Oh, wow. This is why we started with the egg. Farm fresh. Oh, that's the other thing too. If you want to make sure you're gonna, your eggs aren't going to make you sick, buy some clean local eggs from a farmer here, not far, far, far away in some sort of mass-produced farm. So there's my hippie side. So we'll try that again. There we go. We're in this time. You just crack the uh, shell apart, and you can see the yolk. So be real slow, real gentle, kind of pull that apart, and then you do this thing that I thought only bakers could do until I learned how to do it, and you can do it too. We just kind of pour it back and forth and gently separate the egg white from the yolk. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on, baby. And you wanna be gentle and patient. Boom, there you go. So we've started with the egg, so now we don't have to worry about um, accidentally, like, like I said, like cracking the yolk. I feel like kind of Peter, like Peter Venkman right now in, uh, in uh, Ghostbusters. Somebody blows their nose and you wanna keep it? Uh, with our egg white in there, let's now add two ounces of bourbon. I'm gonna use uh, Four Roses Small Batch as a delicious, delicious bourbon. Two ounces of that into the shaker. And then, I'll put that there so we can admire it. Again, this is a great sipper. Some people might be pissed that I'm using it in the drink, but they can get over it. Uh, then we're gonna do one ounce each of uh, lemon juice and simple syrup, or that's called sour mix, two ounces of sour mix. So one, here, that's the lemon. This is the simple, two, super good. Now those are all the ingredients. Now with our ingredients in the shaker, cap it, no ice again, 
Just give it a good shake for a minute. Now the whole point of this is to get the egg uh, imbued into, imbued is the wrong word. Also it was a little too fancy and now I feel like an idiot for like trying to speak above my pay grade. Um, you're just trying to get it all mixed up. That's been mixed, everything looks good together. Now let's uh, grab some ice. Recap, reshake, now we're chilling it. And the, uh, the ice is gonna help us like kind of frost the egg. Get it good and cold, good and mixed up. Break that apart. Here's our Bev. And then we are going to grab a coupe glass or a martini glass for this. Strain, you can probably see from your vantage point even now how kind of silky and smooth that is. Yum. And then to garnish this, we're gonna use just some bitters. A couple dashes. Boop, boop, boop. What's that do? Well, it gives it a little bit of that bitters flavor and also just uh, it just looks neat. You can also like take a toothpick and draw pictures if you want, like latte art style, if you really want to impress your friends. If you're that insecure, you can do that. Um, so let's have a look. Can you see how creamy that is? Totally opaque. You know what it is? It's an Orange Julius. For, do you remember that store in the mall? Um, that's what it feels like. Um, the bourbon sour is like a really overlooked, oft overlooked drink, I think. A very refreshing summer uh, crusher. Um, tart, sweet. Uh, the bourbon gives it that, uh, you know, that bourbony sweetness and just that presence there too. And the egg white, like I said, just gives it a little creaminess and makes it cool. You can also make Pisco sours. Pisco is like a kind of a relative of rum. Um, Gosh, I mean, I guess you could do it with rum. I guess almost, I wouldn't do it with gin. Let me look into that. Let me look into that. But uh, yeah, so just like uh, try this out. If that, if, you know, if you're feeling this pace, uh, maybe try some other things, right? Did that answer your question, Dave? I hope so. Do you have a question? Like I said at the top, email me. At, I'll blink it right here. Email me at uh, uh, cocktail hotline at gmail.com. That's cocktailhotline at gmail.com. This has been Happy Hour. Brought to you by Main Spirits. You can learn more about this cocktail and many other cocktails at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone. New app, by the way, Smart Move. Why? You can learn what to buy, where to buy it, and then what to do with it once you get it. You can follow them on Instagram at main underscore spirits. And we beg that you drink deliciously and responsibly. And that is the end of my awkward pauses. Cut.